Let's now look at calculating audio file size for sound. So basically, our three features here that we need to know our values for are our sampling rate, our sample size, and the time of the audio file. So our sample rate is how many times the sound wave is tested in the actual audio file. So for a CD file, basically the sound wave would be tested 44,100 times. So that's known as 44,100 samples. The sample size or the bit resolution is the equivalent of the bit depth with an image file. Basically, this time instead of colors, it's sounds. And so it's how many types of sounds are available for the audio track. And the common standards are 8-bit or 16-bit. And the final value we need to know is time. And time makes complete sense. It's just basically how long the file will go for. So in order to find out mono sound, it is basically the sample rate times the sample size times time. Easy, okay, because it's being sent down one channel. But the difference is with stereo, sound is split and sent down two channels. So it's the same actual formula times two. So let's look at an example now. So here is all our different values. So understand that we've got different levels of quality. So 44,000 obviously for CD quality, 22,000 sample rate for music, 11,000 sample rate for voice, and for radio, just 5,000 sample rate. And understanding our bit depth, which will usually be given to us in a HSC question. How many different sounds are available for the sound file? And there's our sound wave there. And as you can see, it's being sampled a certain amount of times every time the grid touches the wave. Okay, so we're going to look at a scenario now. Basically, the sampling rate is CD quality. It's 44.1 kilohertz. Okay, the sample size is 16 bit. Okay. So we've got a whole range of sounds available for our sound file. The duration of the file is going to be for 16 seconds and it's going to be stereo output, meaning it goes down two channels. So our formula will be 44,100 times 16 bits times 60 seconds okay, times 2 because it's stereo output. That gives us 84 million 672,000 bits, which we then divide by 8 to convert it to bytes. And with this, we'll actually turn it into megabytes because that's more of a standard for um, audio files. So we've got our bytes, divided by 1024 to convert it to kilobytes, then divided by 1024 to convert it to megabytes. And that gives us the answer of 10.9 megabytes. So Understand, sound looks complex, but all your values will be there for you in a HSC question because you can't really test audio in the exam. Okay, but understand your formula. It's a simple formula. Converting it to kilobytes or megabytes may be where it gets a bit difficult, but really it's just timesing the values that will be given to you by each other.